My whole life is based around fishing. If you don't protect the resource that keeps you alive, then what else are you gonna do, you know? Who else is gonna stand up for the fish other than the fishermen? I've got memories as a kid of waking up on the boat, or swimming around out in the net and stuff, and my grandfather was a commercial fisherman, and my parents fish, and you know, at some point I think it's just in ya. <laughs> you know, like, I don't know what I'd be doing if I wasn't fishing. What we do, in a sense, is the same thing that WDFW does for the state. So we use our resources here to leverage our policy decisions to protect a resource so it's sustainable. We don't manage for ourselves. We manage for the seventh generation from us. We usually get 24, 40, hour, eight hours notice before it opens, so I'll put in a, shoot my boss an email and say, hey, we're opening, I'm out. <laughs> I think my parents started fishing like 85 or something. My dad passed away two years ago. It was a big part of her life being out there with my dad and you know, she's not gonna stop fishing because my dad's not here. For her to continue to be able to go, she's just, like the other day we went out on Saturday and we were driving in and she's like, uh, looked over and said, thank you. I still manage our summer youth that come in every summer. So, I mean, any more of these days, we don't, we get up to like six kids a summer that come and work with us. So it's like our opportunity to reach out to the people that are interested in, you know, natural resources and we get to teach them what we do and why we do it. And if you can help, you know, protect it and ensure that it'll keep on going, then that's what we do. <laughs>